Hey everyone, and welcome to the weekly update, where we help you to catch up with everything that had happened in the Gamfi industry in just 10 minutes. I'm your host Alan from Gamfi Army, and this week we will cover some notable news in the first week of September. So sit up and let's reveal what this week got to offer. While the commission is standard for Apple, some has expressed their displeasure at the company go through an overpriced cut of sales. Non-fungible token NFT application developers and others have bought at the decision by tech giant Apple to impose a 30% commission on NFT sold through apps on its marketplace, effectively putting NFT purchases in the same boat as regular in-app purchases. According to a Friday report from the information, the smartphone company is now allowing NFT to be bought and sold through app, listed on its marketplace, but imposes its standard commissions on in-app purchases of 30% similar to that imposed by Android App Store Google Play. The commission rate has however been slammed by some of the being grossly overpriced, particularly when compared to standard NFT marketplace commissions, which are around 2.5%. Tech blogger Florian Muller called Apple's app tax on NFT sales abusive but consistent, while Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney tweeted that Apple is crushing another nascent technology that could rival its growth career over bright in-app app payment services. Co-founder of leverage game Miller Yashin's Flavich became the victim of hack over the weekend, with his account on non-fungible tokens, marketplace overseas, clean out of motions, and boy F and two doodles. Flavich has claimed the hack has cost him over $1 million in theater and NFTs. Flavich is also the founder of Sin Bands NFT, Instagram and Twitter handles, We has been both being suspended after repeated violations of platform community guidelines. It comes up the allegations it promoted NFT project without proper disclosures. In a post to his more than 117,000 Twitter followers on Sunday, Flovich, known as Jeff on Twitter, said he was hacked the night before, urging the public not to buy any of the items or anything else from his wallet. Next, on September 29, global music and entertainment company Warner Music Group announced a partnership with non-fungible token marketplace OpenSea to revive a platform for select musical artists to build and extend their fan base into the Web3 community. According to the release, the collaboration between these two entities will allow select WNG artists to get early access to OpenSea newly rollout future, will enable artists to launch their NFT collections, a limited edition project on their own customizable and dedicated. This WNG artist will have access to personalized storytelling on customized landing page as well as to OpenSea industry leading safety and security features. Partnership aims at helping WNG artists build new Web3 communities, intends to introduce existing fan communities on OpenSea to new forms of connections and creativity through NFTs, and open up new opportunities for fans to engage with music and artists within the Web3 community. And finally, Carrot Come Back Now will be launched as part of the three-year sponsorship deal with Hedera HBR Foundations, expected to go live in December 2022. Karate Comeback, a prominent food and contract material art lead, announced the decision to form decentralized autonomous organizations to transition its governance to fans and athletes. Participations in Karate Comeback style is expected to span globally as the lead broadcast in more than 100 countries through mainstream and online channels, including CBS Sport, Eurosport, YouTube, and TikTok. Adam Kovacs, the president of Karate Compact, highlighted the need for improving fan engagements, stating the sporting world must evolve to increasing engagement with a new generation of fans who have grown up on social media and digital gaming. They expect to be active participants in the actions rather than passive viewers. And that concludes the weekly update of this week. Despite the current depressingly bearish market, the overall Gamfi and Metaverse scene seem to still be incredibly active with wonderful news from big players in this industry. Lots of huge partnerships with other Web2 brands to impact on the Web3 revolution. So please, hold your heads up and remain hopeful, for we will get through this crypto winter together.